I was so gone with it that the others used to call me whack attack and you know I walk around with a beatbox. And WBLS was like blasting all over the city and we just like hooked on to some of that vibe and made our own version of it. We made an instrumental mix of, of Mag 7 and WBLS played it to death. You, you couldn't go anywhere in New York that summer without hearing that. And that was us weirdo punk rock white guys doing the kit. <laughs> <laughs> That was when hip hop was just starting, you know, and that was like another signpost of what, what was to come. We sort of fell in with some graffiti artists and they made a big banner for us. Someone had come in and gone, let's play this with balalaikas. Everyone would have gone, give me the biggest balalaika. You know, people, we were open about stuff. Mick Jones bringing in the new sound of New York and stuff, and, and Simo with his reggae thing, and me with my rhythm and blues thing, and Topper with all his soul chops and what, and we could just do that. Uh, there was one point when we went to uh, Kingston, Jamaica, and that was that was great because 